I'm Jess and welcome to Jess Science, science for everyone. Today we're going to be looking at how to make your own fake blood. To do this, you're just going to need the things you see in front of me here. So some icing sugar, cocoa powder, red food coloring, golden syrup, or you can use corn syrup, and a bit of water. Blood has a lot of different things that make it up. We're going to add a little bit of water and there is a bit of water in blood. Just a bit here. The main part of the blood is the plasma, and the plasma carries nutrients all throughout the body. So I'm going to give a bit of a squirt of golden syrup here for our plasma. Then we're going to need a little bit of the cocoa powder. The cocoa powder is going to represent the platelets. Now the platelets are really important. They help with blood clotting. So if you ever get a cut, they're going to be there to help make sure that you just don't keep bleeding. So we'll add a little bit of our platelets here. There we go, amazing. Next up, we of course are going to need our white blood cells. White blood cells are super important. They're our body's defense system that help fight off infection. So we're gonna have a teaspoon of our white blood cells here. There we go. Now we can start mixing it. And <laughs> it's a bit thick thanks to our lovely golden syrup. Probably added a little bit too much water, but this is where the science comes in. You can play around with the proportions a bit to see what makes the best consistency of the blood that you want. So that's looking pretty good, but I'm going to make it even thicker. So I'm going to add a little bit more of the golden syrup here. There we are. And a little bit more of our powders. So a few more of our cocoa powder that's representing our platelets. There we are, and a little bit more of our icing sugar representing our white blood cells. There we go. All right, perfect. And then of course, we're gonna to wanna to make our blood nice and red. So I've got here some red food coloring. So if I take that red food coloring and I put in just a little bit here, we are going to see if we can change that color there. And keep mixing it, keep mixing it. Mmm, lovely. If you have a little mini whisk, you can do that as well. That'll make it a bit easier to mix up. But there we go. We have got some interesting looking blood here. And now is the time to give myself a fake cut. Now, if you're doing this at home, just check with your parents. Make sure you don't have any allergies. And put a little bit of our blood on our hand here. And there we go, I say, that's looking pretty good. And you saw me mix it up. I don't have any allergies, so I can even do this. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> and that's been Jess Science. I'll see you next time. Bye.